What is up, you beautiful people out there on the internet? It is I, Michael Shockman, here with our next episode of our continuing Let's Play of Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. In this episode, we're going to be starting off the next act, uh, Act 2 of the Asian Dynasties, that being China. Uh, yeah, um, not much to say, just uh, grab a beverage, uh, get a snack. Sit down, turn off the lights, and enjoy the show. Here we go. At last, after many years of selfless service, I have finally been given the rank of captain. I am to command one of the ships in the Emperor's Grand Dredger Fleet, an undertaking like none other. The glories of the Middle Kingdom will touch every shore. Um, so just so you guys are aware, this is what I was waiting for. This campaign, um, from what I can tell, um, is going to heavily focus on a theoretical, on a theory, um, a hypothesis that, uh, the, um, that, uh, America was colonized by the Chinese, um, long before people came to via long before the events of the so-called land bridge uh over uh from um from russia and that area all the way over to the siberian land bridge and all that stuff um this is the theory that the actual uh west coast and thusly the rest of continental north america was colonized by the chinese um i believe that this uh Theory has been disproven or at least heavily discredited in recent in subsequent years, but um, it should still be a fun thing. Just know that this is this is almost certainly an act of fiction more than anything else, uh, although it is based on a theoretical hypothesis of what could have happened in real life. So anyway, without any further ado, let's dive into it. Here we go. All my life, I have had the same dream. A beach, palms in the morning light, waves on the sand. I do not know this place or where to find it. Only that my destiny waits beyond the tide. Animals. These peasants should lick their fingers, for this will be their last taste of such riches. Not all of us were born into royalty, Admiral. I was raised one of these animals. Captain, it shows. The treasure fleet is a testament to our Emperor's genius. You know as well as I do that the Emperor is a pampered old fool. He should be more careful with his belongings. Ships vanish. Treasures never reach their destinations. Good thing we are here to prevent such tragedies. Believe what you want. Hmm. Every time that boy opens his mouth, I want to fill it with my fist. What is your name, sailor? I am Lao Chen. A lifetime at sea has left me stinking of fish. If it floats, I have freed it. Then tell me. What do you predict for our grand treasure fleet? The fleet will sail on to glory without question. But beware, the Admiral. I am not the only one around here who stinks. Uh, we prepare to sail with more than 300 ships and a crew of nearly 20,000. However, my good fortune has come at a price. I must serve under the Emperor's nephew, Admiral Jin He, uh, uh, a, a notorious spoiled. Uh, I think it's actually pronounced it's supposed to be Zheng He. Um, that's yeah, uh, Zheng He, uh, a notoriously spoiled child of a man. And sitting ducks. Pirate vessels prowl the waters. <clears throat> Leave them be. For now. 
say that again when you're picking wreckage off the seabed. What is the delay? The men are tired, Admiral. They cannot work with broken backs. They will work until the task is finished, broken backs or not. Can we not give some of this work to the new sailors you hired? Those sailors are my concern. I know they are not sailors, Admiral. It is obvious that not one of them has ever set foot on a boat. They are mercenaries, scoundrels, and should be boiled in their own juices. Silence! It would be wise for you to remember who commands this fleet. <laughs> this is your mess, Wang. Clean it up at once! Finish a fleet. The fleet is under attack. We must hurry and finish building the flagship before we can sail. Captain, I have more bad news. The pirates have captured our docks to the west. Something must be done. All right. Castle. Destroy the castle overlooking the docks. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Crossbowman. Place to establish a trade route. We must give our workers the right materials to finish the task. All right. All right. Guang, Guang, Kiang, Pikeman. Uh, hey, Chuko News. Thank you. 
Burn it down! the flagship unless every hand has work. Fair enough. Captain, the ship is coming along nicely. You must work to maintain the flow of resources. All right. Should I? Good amount of men. It's kind of shocking how important artillery is to this game. Like in previous in previous iterations of the game, it was easy to be able to deal with. Uh, with things if you just had enough uh, regular troops and artillery was kind of an afterthought but in this game even to deal with large amounts of uh, infantry you have to be able to have a decent amount of uh, artillery Come on. Bring it.
Press nice. You execute pirates like a seasoned sailor. Nice. I find no pleasure in it. Now come. We must finish the fleet and set out to sea. All right. Cool stuff. We are apparently level 25, which is quite interesting. Choose new cards. We have 24 of these things. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> All right. Create a food. Create a wood. Stuff. Um, let's see. Right. Twenty one chukunus. Twenty one of these guys. All right. Chengdao swordsman. Step riders. Iron Flails, Meteor Hammers, Flamethrowers, and Mortars, and Mortars. The Flying Crow, huh? Oh, there's one Flying Crow. A Flatland Castle and a Hill Castle. Fortifications, Iron Crow, Siege Combat. Acupuncture. All units train faster for units spawn light slightly faster. Right. There we go. Yes. Alright folks, uh, thank you so much for joining me. That's going to about do it for this episode. If you enjoyed and you haven't already, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Also be sure to ring the bell icon so you never miss an episode. Last but not least, please be sure to check out the links down in the description. You know what they do, you know where they go, you know what to do. I'm Michael Shockman, folks. I've been your host and commentator. And until next time, remember as always, keep it real, keep it safe, keep it healthy. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, folks.